A Gwinnett County community comes together to grieve two teens who died after falling into a partially frozen pond this morning. An emotional prayer service was held at Northview Christian Church in Buford. And then late this afternoon, some family and friends gathered at the pond where the two boys fell into the icy water. And now tonight, the families of both victims are speaking out. CBS Atlanta's Bernard Watson is live in Tequila with the very latest on this story. And just it's just so emotional, it's hard to imagine what these families are going through, Bernard. Uh, Danielle, you're exactly right. I don't think anyone who hasn't lost a child can know what these families are going through. And as you mentioned, it's been a very emotional day for this entire community. In fact, you would have had to look long and hard to find a dry eye as people came to this spot and made this memorial. Now, earlier tonight, we had a chance to talk to family members of both victims, and they say it's their faith that's keeping them going. My family's strong, and this is only going to make us stronger. Two Gwinnett County families are hurting tonight. By the grace of God, we hold them. Struggling to deal with the loss of two loved ones. Young lives cut painfully short in the blink of an eye. Jacob was just a good boy, and he had the world in his hands. 14-year-old Jacob Bullock and 13-year-old Marvin's Matherin died late Saturday night at the Gwinnett County Medical Center. The two eighth graders and a third boy, Alex Paul, fell into the icy waters of this pond near their Decula homes. Alex got out. Jacob was down. Marvin's went down to get Jacob. Marvin didn't come back and Jacob didn't come back. Authorities say Marvin's and Jacob were underwater for more than an hour before they were found. And I know where he is right now. He's just so happy. Probably still throwing his football around and still being the happy boy that he is. The Bullocks and Matherin say right now it's family and faith that keeps them going. We had a lot of prayers, a lot of sisters in Christ come. We are hoping. Although Susie Matherin never expected to lose her son so soon, she says she finds comfort in knowing Marvin's knew he was loved. We had a chance to talk in the morning and before I left, he said, Mommy, I love you. I said, Marvin's, I love you. Goodbye. Now, funeral services haven't been announced for either boy, but we did talk to the Matherins earlier tonight, and the boy's mother, Susie, said that she believes the funeral service will likely be on the 23rd of January. Also, we understand that grief counselors will likely be at the boy's school tomorrow. We're live in Gwinnett County. Bernard Watson, CBS Atlanta News.